back to Real Talk. We have had an awesome show thus far, and it's getting ready to get even higher. I got here the apostle, <laughs> as we say in the, in, the, in, the church, in the church segment, the apostle. Apostle, apostle. <laughs> if you're holy, it's apostle, you know what I mean? Overseer, pastor, um, Marvin McCoy, who is uh, a wonderful and gifted songwriter. Many people in this area don't know about the things that he's done in music. Uh, he is a master musician. Uh, minister of music. I first I first saw him on the organ at the Greater Mount Calvary Holy yeah. Church. That's yeah. right. And uh, from there, he has uh, another church where it matriculated <laughs> <laughs> to high heights. And uh, so, thank you so much. You also the pastor of Judah Christian Center in Clinton, Maryland. In Clinton, Maryland, mm -hmm. Judah Christian Center. Church. Along with mm -hmm. your lovely wife. Yes, Co-Pastor Vita McCoy. Co-Pastor Vita yeah, McCoy. Right, Special yeah. shout out to you, Co-Pastor yeah. Vita McCoy. Yeah. Man, let's just talk about your life. How did you get started with? I, mean, I guess musically, you and your brother and, and all that kind of, and all that thing. I mean, how did y'all get started? Well, um, I think because we were exposed to music at a young age, I was always fascinated with the organ, mm -hmm. and I wanted. Um, um, we were little. I wanted a Hammond organ in the house, mm -hmm. and of course, my mother bought this little little teeny organ. I didn't touch it, <laughs> mm -hmm. and so um, my brother played it, um, and then I started playing the drums. Um, played drums really all the way through high school, wow. mm -hmm. and uh, when uh, I think I was about fifteen, sixteen, my mother bought a Hammond. Bought a Hammond in the house. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was about sixteen. That's when I started playing the organ. It's always the drummers that come out. To it's, be the it's, the it's, it's the drummers. It's the drummers. It's the drummers. It's the drummers. The, the, drummers. Yeah. the best musicians. Yeah. Yeah. The best musicians. So that's how. And then, of course, you know, um, uh, being a PK, um, I appreciate my father for allowing us to listen to music and appreciate all kinds. Is that of music. right? Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we didn't have those restrictions um, that some PKs have. Uh, wow, yeah. that's a blessing. Uh, yeah, my, <laughs> that's dad, my dad let us listen to Little Bootsy. Yeah. So who were your biggest influences musically as a child? As a child, my biggest, probably my biggest influences, definitely the Hawkins, uh, both Edwin and Walter. In fact, we wanted to be Edwin, my brother and I, we wanted to be Edwin and Walter Hawkins. Mm. Um, certainly Andre, Andre Crouch, um, mm -hmm. uh, your Rich, Richard Smallwood right here in the city. Um, so there were a lot. Of course, Thomas Whitfield, um, who I had the pleasure of working with. Wow. Uh, uh, I'm jealous. So, so there, were, there, there were quite a lot. I grew up listening to um, Savoy Records, listening yeah, to yeah, Gospel Music yeah. Workshop of America, um, uh, that. And so it, it's, it's, it's that era of music really kind of shaped our musical uh, or my musical um, mindset. Yeah. Right. So let's, so let's go up. So how did you end up at Greater Mount Calvary? Oh man, I w uh, a friend of mine who uh, had recently became the director of the youth choir. Um, he's he's no longer here. Um, uh, Minister Keith Grayton, he became mm -hmm. over the youth choir. Mm -hmm. Must have been 85, 86, and uh, we were we were it was a close group friends of uh, of uh, it was about four or five of us. And he said, I need y'all to come help help me with the youth choir. Mm -hmm. And you know, went over there, fell in love with uh, Bishop and Co-Pastor Susie, um, the preaching over there, yes. and, and park, parked my roots there. <laughs> wow, wow! And how long were you there? I was there just about twenty years. Yeah. Wow, yeah, it was just about I, twenty wow. years. I remember y'all recording an album there. Yes, um, we did um, album. The album album was entitled "Sign Me Up." That was in eighty seven, nineteen eighty seven. Yeah, yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. I was three. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I was just fifteen. So. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember. You know, just vaguely they played that album WYCB. Yes. Yeah. Uh, YCB played it, and um, it got good play a across the country as well. Right. Right. Danny McCrimmon and Ricky Payton were the producers. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh wow, and, yes. they, and they are legends. Yeah, they are legends. Le they, they Big shout out to you, um, Pastor Danny. Danny. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're getting better. Yeah, um, you know I'm gonna call you soon. We're gonna talk. Yeah. But so so I, I'm gonna stay in the music and then, we, and then we get to the church. Okay. So the songwriting thing, you've written a lot of songs for a lot of different choirs. Talk about that. <laughs> um, I actually didn't realize I could write until um, I was I, I went to McKinley High School. And one of the classes, it was my drama, drama class, uh, doctor, and he passed it here in, in D.C., Dr. Andre Owens. Uh, yeah. His mm -hmm. church was down on North Capitol. Yeah, and St. So, Phillips. Yeah, St. Phillips. Uh -huh. And so I had to, um, of course, we all had to perform. Uh -huh. And on the spot, I wrote a song so I could pass the class. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> and I really had to. Gotta make it till you make it. And that's what I did. And I, and I realized that... Um, 
um, I, I could write, but I didn't really start writing until uh, Youth for Christ, Youth for yeah. Christ Fellowship mm -hmm. Dance Choir. And I started dating my wife. We were, we were dating, and she was a singer, and, and I was a musician, and so I started writing for her. Right. Okay. And so, of course, you know, one thing led to, to the other, and so we got, we got a lot of exposure, mm. uh, f I, actually, for writing for, writing for her and then um, recording with Youth for Christ. And that opened up a whole uh, entourage of doors. Right. Um, and then came her album. I, then came, right, then yeah. she, I was just she, 11 when that happened. Yeah. yeah, when I was 17. <laughs> 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 yeah, Take It Away. I um, remember, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah. I, it's it's still one of my favorite right, yeah. songs, take, uh, take, take, it away, take It Away From Me. That was... Oh my lord! And you wrote that. I wrote that. Okay. Um, God, I can't even remember what you've written for Wilmington Chester Mass Choir. Wilmington Chester has recorded um, um, one of my songs, Gospel Music Workshop of America. Uh, let's see. William uh, Beckton. William Beckton. William Beckton. Uh, Bishop Victor Curry in New Birth down in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, BLNS here in the yeah. city. Yeah, what song BLNS? BLNS actually recorded two two of my songs. One was called Thank God I'm Safe. Okay. I also recorded that with Greater Mount Calvary, okay. and then uh, an arrangement of um, Higher Ground. Okay, I'm mm. pressing on the upper right, right, yeah. right. arrangement of that. Uh, let's see. Um, Clay Evans recorded one of my songs. Uh, for the rest of my life. Yes, Lord. Uh, yeah, for the rest yes, of my Lord. life. Uh, let's see, Atlantic Philharmonic, man, uh, and several other independent artists around the country. Wow. Um, of course, my brother, um, and he's done an excellent job with Psalm 66. Oh, my God. Everybody calls him Major Joy for no one. He's the title of the song is Psalm 66. He did an excellent job with that. And then another one of my favorites. Um, that well, I did, did some recording with Victor Johnson and Free. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, Isaiah, yeah. Isaiah Thomas, um, Cornerstone has recorded songs. Uh, New Samaritan has mm -hmm. recorded uh, songs. Um, one of my favorite songs is Renewed Strength. Yeah. And, uh -huh. and I wrote that um, from a message. Um, my, my wife recorded that. The, uh, the young lady's um, uh, remnant. Did they record that song? That's the no. same one? No. Okay, I'm thinking about somebody mm -hmm. else. But they did a song called Renewed Strength. No, no, your wife yes. did Renewed Strength. Yes. That's where I yes. got it from. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Sorry, yes. go past me. Don't cut my head off. <laughs> Renew this, look, you have written a ton of songs. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and there's some of them I didn't even know about. I've been doing some studying, you know, because, you know, a lot of people know your brother. Yeah. And, you mm -hmm. know, and all what he's doing with his phenomenal group. But they don't know the storm behind is the brother. Uh, and, you know, and just recently, I found that you were the younger brother. I'm the younger. I'm the youngest. Well, Mike. <laughs> Mike is. Won't be long, man. <laughs> I mean, look. I mean, look at him and look at me. <laughs> you can see that I am the youngest. <laughs> Let's talk about the church, Judah Christian Center. Judah Christian Center. Right, um, and you said that just got, that started, though. In 2004. Yeah. 2004, oh, okay. and so we didn't necessarily walk away from music, um, but we kind of put music on the background, back burner. Um, we always felt that that was the calling of the Lord on, on my life, and so my wife and I, we started Judah in 2004 at the Best Western in, in Lanham, and... Um, uh, God has richly blessed us, um, a wonderful group of believers. Um, we have been fortunate to even get some people who grew up in church, and as they became teenagers, they kind of strayed away from church. Oh, right. So we've been able to get them back into church. And so to see lives change, um, to introduce people who haven't been in church to praise and worship, and mm -hmm. then, you know, you sit out there and you watch them lifting up their hands. It's you amazing. see the tears coming down from their eyes. So we, we are about um, changing lives and impacting lives and building the kingdom of God. So that's, and you that's started this church from scratch. It, it's always phenomenal to me. I know Bishop Bonnie Hunt is the same way. You know, starting a church from the ground up. From the, gr from Ooh, the ground up. That's tough. Up. Yeah, it, so it how, is. I don't want somebody just to call me is. to a big church. I don't want to be starting <laughs> from the ground up. How difficult is church planning? Um, you have to have... You, you have to have the mindset and you, you have to really have the anointing for that because you don't go in with all of the resources mm -hmm. that uh, establish churches that, um, that, that, and then you have to, and especially for someone like me who had been behind the keyboard, mm -hmm. been behind the piano for so many years and not uh, having that 
preacher visibility <coughs> sort of say right. um, so you really create your own identity creating mm -hmm. your own world um, you're starting from it, it was the help of some people right. we got some close friends of ours who help us plant the church mm -hmm. some are still with us and they're faithful members of the church um, and to get us started we asked them for a six-month commitment they help us get started and Praise then the boom to God be the glory my right. gosh very right. quickly uh, children Children. All right. Well, um, of course, and I actually met you. I remember meeting you through Children of the Gospel. Yeah. My son was singing with uh, Children of the Gospel. Um, I have two, two, two adult children, and that's a wonderful thing right now. My <laughs> daughter, Jante, who is the youngest, um, she is a behind the scene worker. And then, um, you know, Ma Marvin Meyer. Right, um, right. Uh, McCoy, uh, uh, who's actually right now on the ship somewhere. Uh, singing, doing what he enjoys doing, and they helped us with the church. They really not only shared us, but they actually did the work. Um, uh, John Tay was still in high school, and uh, Myra was um, in college. On the wow. ones with us, so yeah, I'm grateful to, to God for my family. Thirty seconds. You have a new single out. Talk about. I have it. a new single we'll out. It's called "You Can Make It." I believe that um, my message, or what the Lord has given me to the body of Christ as um, or is an encourager so even my preaching messages um, the songs that I have written um, it encourages the body of Christ and so I have this song it's entitled you can make it we did it live we recorded the whole project live at my church back in May of last year and so the song just really encouraged the, bo the body the believers that in spite of what you're going through troubles are going to come in spite go. of all of that you can make it if you got to hold on to your faith i am i'm a faith preacher i'm a faith teacher um because it all stems from your Praise faith if you yes. have the faith and the bible talks about having the, if uh over in mark 11 where jesus t tells the disciples that if you have the faith if you have the faith you can speak to the mountain mm -hmm. and it shall be moved so it tells you that in spite of it all, just hold on, you can make it. So whatever you're dealing with, you can make it. So the single is out. It's on digital. Uh, it's on all the digital um, outlets. I do have a couple hard copies that I, mm -hmm. that I do have for some of my uh, uh, seniors who don't, don't <laughs> like to download right, and right, things right. like that. So I, I, I did that for them. Um, but it's, it's a wonderful, I believe it, it will bless you, and we're looking for the entire project sometime this April. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for being on the show, man. We got to have you back with oh, Mike, man. Sir. so Thank we can you, have y'all join each other for, together, couple, for 10 to 15 together. minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, we're going to go to his Thank single, you. Thank you. and we're so. going to be out. Thank you all so much for joining us this week. Thank you to Bishop-elect Barney Hunter. Thank you to Apostle Marvin McCoy. And we're going to end with his single entitled, You Can Make It. Y'all have a great week. Everybody clap your hands like this. Clap on it. Clap, clap. Give it to
to the swift or to the strong, but to the one that endures. For information on how to become a guest on Real Talk with Philip Carter or for general inquiries, please email us at realtalkwithphilipcarter at yahoo.com. Tune in next Monday for another edition of Real Talk with Philip Carter.